looking over my notes. <laughs> Need to move this out the way. Well, mine's here. You got yours on the phone? Yep, I got mine on the phone. I'm unprofessional. What are we going to do with this loose noodle? I'm just going to move you down and project you out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did that. We're not yeah. very professional here. So. Uh, What's going on, guys? Dan on 10 Off Script here, and today I'm with my good old buddy, Richard. How you doing, bud? Good. How about you, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we've once did this before. Very, very long time ago. Mm -hmm. We did the worst games of 2016, our top 10. Uh, it's basically going to be the same exact format. We want to do the top games of 2020 and some of 2019. We got a couple 2019 games coming in. Uh, most of mine's 20. I think, yeah, all of mine are 2020. I think you got a couple 2019. I think I got two from 2020, and the rest are from 2019. So. Okay, so these are games that have not come out yet. Uh, they have been talked about and are uh, set to release. They have their release dates, all of them but a couple on and here. And I got one that is right around the corner, like not even a week or I don't even think it will. What, two weeks. When does it come out? September 3rd. Please. September 3rd. Uh, not this weekend, but next. My, that's my phone going off. Hello. I'm <laughs> just unprofessional. Um, who who do you want? Do you want to rock, paper, scissors? Who goes first and starts out the list? Let's go. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, we're doing one. Wow. Okay. Well, I thought we were doing shoot. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Grit. Oh. Rock. <laughs> we're doing this again. You ready? I, I'm ready for this. Rock, rock paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Dang it. All right, he, he takes the bait. So you get number, what do you get? You get 10. 10. Do you get the 10th one and the first one? I get the 10th one. The You get the 10th, 8. You get, you go all the way to 2. So I take I take the odd numbers. You take the evens. Yes. Okay, so let's go. I know how to count. Here we Still, go. always have that issue every time we record. Go ahead, even sir. Though, even though I won that, he still gets number 1. Number five, I mean, well, number five on my list, but number ten for the main list is Pokemon Short, Short? Yeah. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Sure. <laughs> it's sure. got the Sean Connery going on. Yeah. I grew up on Pokemon. My first ones were the first games, Pokemon Red and Blue on the Game Boy. And for me, you know, over the years, I did wasn't as big as a fan um, my last Pokemon games that I got were uh, Sapphire and Ruby back on the Game Boy Advance. And now they're coming out on the Switch. Now, why do I want it on the Switch? Well, something that I always said back when Pokemon was a thing, I really wish they made a Pokemon game on the console. And yes, you had your ROM hacks and your whole homebrews where they took the old games and they put them on a console. This time around, they're actually bringing the Game Boy game it's like their newest generation of pokemon but it's now on a console where i can play it on the go with the switch or i can play it at home which i've always wanted to do for me pokemon sword and shield is what i've always wanted it's a home base pokemon game where i can sit there at home and play it on my tv which is something i was never able to do in the past so with that that's number 10. Solid choice. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go with something that uh, just got, um, you know, set to do. I think this is a couple of, maybe a couple of months ago. Um, we all, all, all of us know that Call of Duty is on a three-year cycle. Uh, every single year, it always went Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, Treyarch, and then they would loop back around every single year. Well, this is technically supposed to be Sledgehammer's year. Infinity Ward just come out with theirs. Um, he's getting ready to come out with theirs as in Modern Warfare. We get that in a couple of months. Um, but this time around, something has happened. I don't, I forgot the whole story, but uh, Treyarch is getting this game uh, this year. So they stepped up a level um, and stepped up a year. So they're bringing us uh, the game of Call of Duty Black Ops 5. Now, uh, why is this on my list? First off, I love the Black Ops series. I think they've never really put out like a really bad game that I didn't like. I've always liked one, two, three, and four so far. Uh, I think they were really good games. They're really solid. They, they they stayed really well, even though I didn't like the whole 
the movement system that they, that they had changed to, that Call of Duty had changed to for a couple years, I still enjoyed Black Ops 4, and, or excuse me, Black Ops 3. And um, I think they make a, a good smooth transition. The only thing that I think uh, was a little bit lackluster these, these past couple years is first off, Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign, and Black Ops 3 wasn't really a good campaign. Uh, I'm hoping that they'll bring that back. So I'm hoping that this Black Ops 5, why this is on my list, why this is most anticipated is because I want to see the Black Ops series come back to the the mega blockbuster that it once was in it's 1 and 2. Years. Yes, I mean, uh, 1 and 2 had fantastic stories. Um, even going into, even jumping from Vietnam all the way to 2025. I mean, they did a great job with that. And I think it's rumored to be a little bit... Um, of an older generation, maybe like Cold War. Um, That'd be interesting. Kind of those leaving stages where we kind of left off on Black Ops uh, 2, um, you know, with Woods and Mason and, and all those guys. And uh, that's why I'm so that's on my list. I, I'm really hoping for another solid game and for it to honestly, on the more campaign side, that's what's more anticipating uh, for me is uh hopefully they'll get back to you know where they are you know zombies never disappoints any year uh it's never really disappointed for me i've always been a big fan of zombies i think i always will be but yeah so that's 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 my that's my that's my number nine i, I enjoyed that one I'll, I'll put a little side note on the end of yours with the black ops 5 what i'm hoping for in that game is here recently the their little tight divisions little crap with microtransactions has become very very big and it's you know downright degrading to us players um i think everybody's talked about this but me personally i was okay with giving a little few bucks here and there but now that they're asking for 20 25 and probably even more than that with months to come it's ridiculous so please do not make that a thing in black ops 5 i mean yeah i know it probably yeah happened, we but- they, they were hoping not to do that in Modern Warfare, but then the news finally broke, I think, a few weeks ago that they're going to end up doing it. So I'm fine with microtransactions as long as they're balanced. Let's put it that way. I'm fine with them I, as long as they're balanced. I am too. All right, number seven on the list. Right, seven? No, 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 eight, 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 number eight. eight, number eight. eight. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm getting Ooh. odds. <laughs> This is why we're not professional. Number eight is The Last of Us Part Two. Now, I wanted to put this higher, but there's more games that I just I'm ready for. But The Last of Us Part Two, I have one little problem with it, and it's not the game, not the new one, it's the old one. I had so many times that I had to restart that game that just kept throwing me out of it. Number one, it, it wasn't my console getting struck by lightning and killing the console and having to restart from there. It was having to like switch things over to a new hard drive and lose the data that way. It was always something and I'm always starting back over. I am actually excited to see what becomes of Joel and Ellie. I know Joel, spoiler alert, Joel lied to Ellie at the end of part one and I'm like, so what's that going to play into part two and after seeing so much gameplay well yeah gameplay and the cinematic trailers and it just it looks beautiful and for me i am so happy about that and i cannot wait for it to get released next year have they given a date yet on it they have not i think there's i think they're aiming for a like a like an october-ish november-ish type launch yeah i have a feeling that you remember how the last of us part one ended the ps3 and then ps4 came out and they remastered it mm-hmm. i think that's what they're doing here is they're releasing it at the end of ps4 and then remastering it on ps5 so if you did that would you get it next year or would you wait till ps5 i uh, yeah i honestly think i would um it's kind of like a gta game i mean gta did the exact same thing mm-hmm. that year uh, gta 5 came out on the playstation 3 and xbox 360 as they were entering their the next generation uh, literally the exact same year um, yeah. Everybody went and played it though, because you couldn't go and play it on uh, on the new consoles, and it was a brand new game, and everybody was enjoying the game. So, um, oh, yeah, yeah I, I think we'll see that in in the future. Um, I hate to I hate to know that PlayStation Four and Xbox are going to come to an end, 
Lots more money out of the pocket. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know what? I'll be fine. I'll suck it up and cry like a baby, and I'll be just fine. All right, so our next game, I think I got um, Watch Dogs Legion. Um, I have always been a big fan of the Watch Dogs series. I played the first one, didn't end up playing the second one, but I did watch it and really enjoy uh, everything they did with that game. I think it's just a really fun game to get um, uh, immersed in. Or is, that, is that the word? Did I do that right? Yeah, I think that's right. I think I messed up a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I always found myself just diving into the world and having a really good time and they always put together pretty good stories with these things some things become repetitive but that's you know in every game uh but uh this year i think they're going into london and there's a whole lot of new features that they have announced and that they said they were going to continue now uh, announcing so uh i think it's going to be a fun year i'm ready to go uh headed up in london and <laughs> and uh, have a good time um we apologize, with london. dead Suck. We apologize, London, for that that poor London that he just did. Hey, that's Canada. <laughs> So number six would will be Spyro Reunited Trilogy. Wait a minute, I know what you're saying. Yes, it came out on the PS4 and the Xbox One last year. Why didn't you get it then? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I mean, yeah, I wanted to get it then, but for some reason, the same thing goes for Crash Bandicoot. It was like, even though that's Sony, I was like, you know, it's great, but you know what I can't do with Sony? I can't take it on the go. And that's the whole reason why I'm ready for Spyro. Bring which, back the PSP. I love that. Exactly. You can bring back the Vita, but try to market it better. <laughs> I still have my PSP, and every once in a while, I play it. I did not know you had a PSP. Yes, sir. But, yeah, the the Spyro Trilogy, you know, the Reunited Trilogy, it, it comes out September 3rd. That's the one I was telling you about that was coming out pretty close. Um, it's coming out on the Switch. It's all three of the original games from the PlayStation 1. And, I'm, like I said, I'm sure y'all are all aware of it. And, for me, I'm just, like, I've been playing Crash Insane Trilogy so much here lately on the go. I'm excited to play Spyro on the go. Especially with updated graphics, updated everything. Especially music. The fact that I can just plug my headphones into my, um, switch just throw it on the bed and just lay back and listen to some of that old spyro music is actually it's pretty good never heard of anybody wanting to do that i mean the the person who did the music for that is the drummer of the police and uh, that's pretty cool so, oh nice I like 